which ServiceNow certification is best for you. So you are thinking about a ServiceNow certification, but with a whole universe of options from CSA to CIS, CAD and all the way up to CMA, how do you pick the one that actually moves your career forward? In this video, I'll cut through the confusion and give you a clear roadmap on which certifications deliver the best ROI, how to avoid common mistakes and a simple 70 to 30 study versus practice rule that helps you build real skills for free to land a high paying job in service now. Let's start. First up, why skipping the CSA might backfire. The Certified System Administrator or CSA, it might feel basic, but it's the root of everything you'll do in ServiceNow. Skipping it is like trying to build a building without a foundation. The CSA teaches you platform administration, user and data management, and core configuration. It skills every single employer assumes you have mastered. Here's an important fact. Those who jump straight to advanced certifications without the CSA have a significant higher exam fail rate. Don't be that person. Invest around 100 hours to master the CSA now and you will save yourself from months of frustration later. You can also check out the highly rated certification courses we provide via the top link in the description. Next move, choosing your path, the builder versus the specialist. Once you successfully complete the CSA, you will have two paths to choose from. So the next step depends on what you want to do. Well, the path one is the builder path, which is certified application developer or CAD. If you love creating, building and coding, the certified application developer is your natural next move. The CAD proves you can design and deploy custom applications, build powerful workflows and integrate ServiceNow with other major systems like SAP or Oracle. And what's the value it provides? In the US, CAD holders earn an average of 110 to 130,000 USD and in Europe, it is somewhere around 65 to 80,000 USD. Here, I have a friendly advice. Instead of just memorizing definitions and steps, build three or four mini projects of about 20 hours each. This hands-on experience prepares you far better for both the exam and the job. You can also add on a flow designer or integration hub micro certification for another 10,000 USD increase in your annual salary. And here comes our path two, the specialist, which is certified implementation specialist or CIS. If you'd rather become an expert in specific business solution, then certified implementation specialist or CIS is the path for you. This is the most common path after CSA and shows you can implement and configure a specific ServiceNow product from start to finish. There are over 15 specializations including IT service management. Well, it is the most popular and fantastic all-around choice. Second is customer service management, CSM or human resource which is HR. Perfect for focusing on business-centric solutions. And if you want to really stand out and earn more, look into the rare high-demand specializations like SecOps. Well, we are about to bring in a webinar also for that, so look out. And Governance, Risk and Compliance, which is GRC, roles saw a 35% demand increase last year. But only a fraction of professionals hold these CIS certifications. It's a classic supply and demand gap. In the US, average pay for these roles is around 120,000 USD, with top earners making as high as 140,000 USD. It's a powerful way to differentiate yourself from from the crowd and it works. And what also works are the micro and suit certifications. Don't sleep on micro certifications. They are short, unsupervised, open book assessments on specific features. Batches like automated test framework ATF, UI builder and virtual agent show you are updated with the platform's latest features. Plus, has the secret ingredient. Combine them to earn suit certifications. These aren't separate exams. They are awarded automatically when you complete a required set of mainline and micro certifications. For example, getting your CSA, CIS, ITSM and a few specific micro certifications could award you the ITSM professional suit certification, proving a much deeper level of expertise. And if you're aiming for the top, the architect paths, the CTA 
and CMA are for you. When you have spent years in the ecosystem and are ready to lead, explore the expert paths, the certified technical architect and the certified master architect. For the CDA, you need the CSA CAD and at least two CIS certifications plus three to five years of hands-on experience. CDAs are solution designers who architect large-scale multi-product solutions earning between 130,000 USD to 200,000 USD. And for the CMA, the ultimate elite batch held by less than 1% of service now professionals. The essentials are lengthy. CSA, CAD, CIS, CIS, ITSM, two additional CIS certifications, the ITIL foundation certification and five to ten years of deep ecosystem experience. At this level, you shift from building solutions to defining enterprise-wide digital transformation strategies and guiding organizational roadmaps. Salaries here are over 200,000 USD, but here's the key. At this level, your soft skills, communication, stakeholder management, and strategic problem solving are just as important as coding. So what's the final strategy and how to stay relevant? Remember the golden rule, spend 70% of your time building in a personal developer instance and just 30% on exam preparation. This approach ensures you are building real world skills, not just collecting certifications and trophies. And one last crucial tip, your learning never stops. ServiceNow certifications expire with major releases. You must complete short and open book Delta exams on the Now Learning portal to keep your credentials active. It's a small effort that protects your investment. So tell me in the comments which ServiceNow certification you are now planning to go for. And in case you're doubtful whether you should choose ServiceNow as a career or not, here's the video with 10 reasons you should. And here's the video that clarifies full interview process for you. Have a look, leave a like if you gain some value and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.